Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to create these stairs in Blender with these beautiful railings. I'm going to show you my approach to modeling pieces like this so you'll be able to replicate it and create similar assets to use in your future projects. Ok, so let's just jump right into this. First I'm going to create the column, but I'm not going to use a reference image to create it. If you'd like you can find some reference image on Google, but I already have a vision for this column, so I'll just begin with some extrusions and insets, and hopefully we'll end up with something cool. So let's add a cube to start, go to edit mode, scale it down along the Z axis, press 3 to enable face select mode, I'm going to select this face on the top, Press I to inset faces, and I'm gonna hold Shift to have more control. Now press E to extrude, like so. E again, and S to scale. Extrude again. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl B to bevel the edges. I'm gonna use the mouse wheel to add more segments. You can also open this panel and change some settings to adjust the bevel. For example, you can adjust the width, the segments, you can change the shape, mm, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Alright, so let me just go to object mode. Right click and select shade all smooth to make it look a bit better. Ok, back to edit mode. I'll select this face, press E to extrude and pull it up a bit. Press I to inset. Extrude again. Alright, now I'm gonna hold Alt and click here to select this whole loop. And I'm going to press I twice to insert faces individually. Now I'm going to press Alt E and select extrude faces along normals. And I'm going to extrude them inwards. Select this face and extrude again. S to scale. A bit more. Extrude. Alt click to select this edge loop, and I'm gonna bevel it, so Ctrl B to bevel. Select this face, item set, extrude, extrude and nasty scale, extrude once more. Now I'm going to press Ctrl R to add some loop cuts here, and I'm going to use the mouse wheel to add more loops. Select this face. I'm going to enable proportional editing. Set it to inverse square. Press S to scale, and I'm going to use the mouse wheel to reduce the size of the circle, because I want the scaling to affect only the top of the column. Let me disable the proportional editing. Either extrude and as to scale. Just a bit more. I'm gonna extrude once more. Press 2 to enable add select mode. Hold Shift Alt and select this edge. So now we have these two edge loops selected. And Ctrl B to bevel. To make this edge look a bit sharper, I think I'm gonna come here to the data properties, expand normals, and adjust the auto smooth angle. Yeah, there we go. I think it looks okay. One last thing, I'm gonna add a bevel modifier. Set the amounts to 0 0.005 and segments to 2. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Let me just increase the size of the base just a bit. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna press G to grab and move it across the side because now we're gonna create the baluster for the railings. And for the baluster, I'm gonna use a reference image. So I'll press Shift A, go to image and select reference. I've got this image on Google Images, but you can use a different image and apply the same technique I'm gonna use. Okay, press G to grab and pull it up a bit. Now I'm gonna add a path curve to create the profile of our baluster. I'm gonna go to edit mode and start dragging the vertices to create the profile. The thing here is to make the curve match one side of the reference image. And I'm gonna add a screw modifier to it so you can see where I wanna get with this. So basically the screw modifier is using the curve as a profile to create this cylindrical shape. I'm gonna enable the X-ray mode so we can see the image. I'm gonna subdivide these two vertices. For this small part, I'm gonna need to put the vertices closer to match the shape. There we go. I'm gonna extrude this vertex. Let me just adjust this one. Put this one down a bit. Now I'm gonna extrude this vertex and keep creating the profile. I think you got the idea, so I'm gonna fast forward this part. All right, I'm gonna turn off X-ray, so let's see what we got. It still needs some refinements, so let me adjust here. I'm gonna subdivide these vertices, and I'm gonna grab this one and put it here to create this sharp area. I'm gonna do the same thing here as well. Yeah, I think it looks good. All right, now I'm gonna just here in the bottom. All right. I'm gonna press H to hide the reference image. All right, I think we're getting there. I'm gonna create a new collection and call it Backup. And I'm gonna create a copy of this, just in case we want to use this in the future as a start point for a different baluster. And also because we are about to do a destructive step. I'm gonna click here to hide the backup collection. Okay, now I'm gonna use these steps to adjust the resolution of the model. I guess 16 looks all right. Now I'm gonna convert it to Mesh. So go to Object, Convert, Mesh. Now I'm gonna add the top and the bottom of the baluster. So hit Tab to go to Edit Mode. I'm gonna add a cube. Let me bring back the reference image to get an idea of the size. Enable X-Ray to see the image. Now I just need to match the size. I'm gonna copy this cube and place it here. I'm gonna hide the reference image again. Turn off X-Ray. Let me adjust here. I'm 
Let me check here as well. I think it looks all right. Yeah. Now I'm going to add a bevel modifier to it. Set the amount to 0 0.005 and the segments to 2. I'm also going to add an array modifier. I'm going to just factor. Now we can use the count to determine how many of the object we want. And I think we're done with the baluster. Let me just see how it looks close to the column. Yeah, I think we can deal with this later when we put all the pieces together. I'm just going to set the factor X to zero. And later when we start to put everything in its place, we're going to define the final setup for this modifier. Now I'm going to create the base in the top of the railing. This is going to be super quick. I'm just going to add a cube. Go to edit mode. Scale it along the Y axis. Now I'm going to select these two vertices. Control B to bevel. And here I'm going to set the profile type to custom. And I'm going to use the cornice molding as the preset. I'm going to increase the segments. Let's see how many segments we're going to need. Yeah, I guess 19 is OK. I'll right click and shade all smooth. And I'm going to delete these two faces because we're not going to need them. All right, let me place it here and check the size. Let me put the baluster here so we can see what we got so far. Okay, let me create the top piece so we can start setting everything into the final position. I'm going to do basically the same thing. But this time we're going to bevel these two edges on the bottom. When we press Ctrl B to bevel, our latest setup is still active. I'm going to adjust the width though. The top piece is going to be smaller, so let me pull this face down. And I think I'm going to make it a bit curved. So I'm going to press Ctrl R to add some loop cuts. Select this edge, enable proportional editing, change it to sphere. I'm going to press G to grab, select the Z axis, use the mouse wheel to make the circle bigger and pull it up just a bit. I'm going to also delete these faces. OK, now I'm going to set everything into place. So I'm going to grab this part and put it here. Yeah, I think it should be here. Mm, I think I should scale it down on the X axis so it fits behind the column. Mm. 
pull it up a bit as well. I just realized that the origin of this top part is in the wrong place, so let me just go to edit mode and position it on the bottom of the object. All right, that's better. Now I'm gonna adjust the size of the baluster. I'm gonna pull these two objects down. All right. Okay, let me position the top part to see if the size of the baluster is okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Let me just adjust this bottom part and we're gonna to start to create these steps. All right, for the steps I'm gonna add a cube. Go to edit mode, scale it along the x-axis. Scale it down along the z-axis as well. All right. Now I'm gonna select the top face and press E to extrude. Now I'm gonna select this face right here and extrude it as well. Like so. Now I'm gonna add a bevel modifier. Set amount to 0.005 and segments to two. I think I'm gonna scale it down just a bit along the z-axis. Yeah, I think it looks all right. Now I'm gonna add an array modifier. Set factor x to zero. And set y and z to one. Let me just adjust the z and y factors. Yeah, now I think it looks better. All right, now we just need to increase the count to define how many steps we want. I think it's too, too big, so let me just scale it down a bit. Okay, so let's select these objects and place them next to these steps. Pull them up a bit. Okay, now we need to rotate the top and the bottom of the railings to match the steps angle. Okay, now I'm gonna select this bottom piece, press S to scale and press Y twice. So it's gonna consider the object angle to scale. Actually, I'm gonna do this with the bottom and the top pieces together. All right, now G to set them into position. The point here is just setting things into the right position. So we just need to try and see if it looks all right. I need to adjust this one as well. I think I'm gonna scale the baluster down just a bit more and pull it up too. I think I'm gonna adjust the size of the top and the bottom of the baluster. Let's see if it works. There we go, looks quite all right. Now I'm gonna adjust the factor and add more copies of the baluster on the array modifier. Let's see what values are gonna work. I 
I think it might work. So let's increase the count number to see if it's actually working. Add more steps as well. I think it looks all right. Now I'm going to create a copy of the column. So Shift D to duplicate it. Now we need to set it into the right position. D, Z and pull it up. I think I'm going to select both columns, go to edit mode and adjust the bottom of the two pieces. All right. I think we need to decrease the amount of balusters. All right. Mm, we need to fix this. So I think I'm going to scale it down along the X axis just a bit. Just to fix this. All right. It doesn't look too bad. Now I'm going to just select these pieces of the railings and create a copy of them. And then I'm going to place them on the other side of the stairs. Let me just pull the steps down a bit. We're almost done with the model. By the way, please let me know in the comments if you'd like me to create a tutorial on texturing this model, adding more details to it, or if you'd like to see me creating other models like this. Your feedback is very important to me because it lets me know if you enjoy this type of video. That's it guys, this is the final result. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.